picked up by Team Secret. That will be our mid matchup. Not a fun one. No real kill potential. I just think that Empire have to play the waiting game. You need your ultimates. Absolutely. Or maybe? Maybe not. Okay. They managed to find the kill on Yapsor in the top lane. Has a blink up in a second and will manage to get out. Yapsor unable to get that void off. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Kez is going to be gone on here. Body blocked by the Shattered Demon Illusions. Brought back by the X. And Empire execute once again in the top lane. Tried to do a little bit of neutraling there, but ends up getting interrupted. In fact, now he's going to be gone on. Soul Catcher, follow up into the X Torrent. They're going to be able to get a lot of right click damage, not even needing the disruption, which they still had at hand. Yeah, you can't, there's there's like no hero that can threaten you constantly. Right. So eventually, Necrophos is going to be able to get the CS to get whatever regen back he needs. FN does manage to get the deny on the tower just before Yapsor wraps around. Could have potentially caught him, as he does have a 1-1-1 one, one, one build. Instead of the 2-0-1, prioritizing the silence nice and early. We are going to have a TP coming in here. Roger is deep behind the tower and could be countered by TPs, but the first one in is Puppy. He immediately gets disrupted. Yapsor is going to wrap around from behind and manages to catch Roger, slowing him down, hopefully enough for his team. Yep, there goes the gush, and mid one will gladly take the kill. Not like he was far enough already, 58 and 18. Now he gets an extra kill to it. It's really cool the way that Secret played that because oh, they... The bottom. Okay. Nice setup by Resolution, but MP does oh. manage to get into the trees, and now they're going to have to throw down the Chronosphere as well. That's two really big, long cooldown ultimates. So yeah. once that happens, I would imagine that Secret keep applying this tower pressure because that's what Viper does best. He hits the tower, and you look at a Viper and you go, well, he's probably going to get this kill here on Kunkka. Yeah, Roger, especially with the extra vision coming in from Puppy. They just need one more shot, and they get it. So that may have signaled that they do actually have that aggressive mid board. Meanwhile, well. top lane, Kezu being chased down. Resolution does have the beam coming up. They managed to get vision for a second. Kezu diving into the trees, but is now in open field. Will be caught. And the hero benefits so much from just the healing potential of having like death pulse. It sometimes gets you kills in team fights. You pop your ghost shroud, you're healing for just insane amounts. So I think there's a lot of synergy. More so with the new Necro than the old one. And you've got the, the miss percentage as well. Roger, it's going to be gone on here. Void, Magic Missile, should be a pretty easy cleanup kill for Team Secret. 3 to 5, 12 minutes in with a 3k gold lead. And towers are beginning. Disruption, Soul Catcher, but the Tidehunter's here. They're going to try and burst down Puppy. They do have the Ravage available. Kezu's going to hold on to it, though. The FN blink out just in time. MP TP'd onto the Shrine, meanwhile, and is going to be able to find Maposhka. And that's a uh, guaranteed kill. Reaper Scythe is successful in bringing him down, so a little bit of extra depth timer as well. The second to third pick, they just realized, hey, if we, if we have super strong lanes, Empire are going to really struggle until they have all their ultimates. Going to see a big fight here, though. Roger, trying to get up to his shrine, they're just going to leave him behind. Oh, he's, yeah. He's not going to activate it. He knows it's a waste. He knows he's mega dead. You run into that many heroes of Team Secret at this point in the game, there's no fighting it. Win the lane, lose the game. You know, that, that <laughs> yeah, used to yeah. be the saying, right, for Viper. Because what he does is he sits in the lane. He's very hard to deal with in the first maybe 10 to 15 minutes. But what happens nowadays is that you start transitioning out of sitting there and just being this unkillable flying snake into killing towers. And when you're running around the map with your team, you're not hitting creeps. They're gonna drop a chrono on mid. They're gonna get this kill on Kezu as well, so that means no Ravage. He's up in about 30 seconds. Not sure if Empire are gonna pursue this, but... They're just gonna go again. Apparently Kezu's just not gonna be able to get his blink dagger that he's so close to. I kind of want him to just go back to the creep wave and see if he can get it, but oh. it's not gonna happen. Soul Catcher and gets brought down. Secret apparently are not gonna want to give up this tier 2 tower. I thought they might just go down mid and give up the tier 2, but instead they're gonna fight and maybe Empire might not expect that. Maposhka is going to be set up here for the potential disruption, but they leave it. Yule Scepter is going to be able to save him. Ravage goes off the side, going to be able to cut down two. Reaper Scythe managed to catch the Queen of Pain before she managed to get out. They do manage to get the Shadow Demon, so definitely one of those situations that there was an opportunity for high reward, but there was also a lot of high risk involved with him being positioned there. And uh, Oh, Miposhka actually aggressive force that from Yapsor. Puts him in a bad place. The Reaper Scythe is not going to finish him off quite yet, but they do manage to get the right clicks in, but now they're fully committed. The Chronosphere onto two. Kezu counters the Chronosphere with the jump in with his own Ravage. Does manage to get off the Sonic Wave, but it doesn't matter. There's too much sustain from Team Secret. Empire get back to their Shrines, popping two, but it's still not enough. They have to back away even further as the Shrines can't heal him up enough. 
and Secret are able to beat now onto that melee Rax. Resolution's finally here, but it's a bit too late. The Rax is already gone, but Poshka's back in it with the disruption. Lead on onto mid one, cost him his life again just to be able to get that out. But with the sustain offered by MP, Secret, they seem invincible. Empire just don't really have a good way to go on anybody now. They have no Chronosphere, no Sonic Wave. Resolution by himself can't possibly kill these heroes. Bolster up against the uh, inevitable physical damage that's going to come from the Luna. Speaking of Luna, she's going to back straight into this smoke. What a terrible position. Secret, they take advantage of it. They need to be able to jump forward and slow down Resolution somehow. They throw out the Ravage. They say it's worth it just to be able to get this core, but he gets off the BKP, so the Reaper Sight's not going to be enough. Can he actually output the damage to kill anybody here? Not even close, and he doesn't have his ultimate either, so even if he buys back, the threat is just not going to be as real. Team Secret, Scythe, Jesus, Aghanim Scepter to upgrade the Reaper Scythe. It's going to be coming in pretty soon for MP. That uh, Assault Kuros is also a huge upgrade. The Roger and Empire do manage to come forward here. They get the X onto the Viper. Is this really the hero they want to go on? Not really. They got a Pauken and Prod. They do manage to get the Chronosphere. They're swap back down the clip, but they are going to be able to blow up at least one here. Now MP, the next target does pop. A little bit of ethereal to help him against this physical damage. Resolution puts forward. He's already on a half HP. It's getting a little dangerous. They need to try and finish up MP. The Reaper Scythe goes down, but the BKB is still up just barely. Resolution gets away, turns around, gets a little bit more damage out, and now it's just a full-on chase for Empire. Finally, they've won a team fight, and they need to catch as much as they possibly can to make this all worth it. Looks like Kezu is eventually going to go down here. There's no real escape for him. So they're going to be able to get three kills off of that team fight, a huge swing. They have methods of saving, and it took a lot to take down MP, even, oh, they're gonna catch Got FN him. here. He does not have the silence, though. Obviously, to throw the silence down to block the Lincolns. They are gonna be able to get the swap back, though, so maybe they can Ooh. kill a Mule Scepter, and a Blink, not forward, to the other side? No. At least you can say. <laughs> yeah, the exchange is not that bad, right? They I'd say it's actually pain, better, but, yeah. to be honest. Because, okay, you have an Aegis on Resolution. He can just go in, you know, YOLO, doesn't have to pop his BKB. And then, Jeez, as well. Yeah, this is, this is a... So I would say they don't win. get caught. Yapsort here does manage to stop Mboshka. That's one. Ghost Stick. Looks like uh, his Shadow Blade is going to be enough to get him away. Just barely, though. I think I really like the, the new change of the Halberd and the, being able to disarm before BKB, especially since you know... With uh, a hero like Night Stalker, you can actually move pretty far forward and get that halberd off. Right. It also helps remove uh, Lincolns, which means he could get a silence onto the uh, Queen of Pain easier. Halberd's just a ridiculously efficient item in and of itself. Like, before, people didn't buy it because, like you said, it, it wouldn't linger. Th oh, a complete whip from Ghost Stick. That is a game loser right there. The silent swap back. Ghost Stick's going to die for his sins and pay the extra punishment of the Reaper Scythe as well. Funny how the, the creep wave win. Looking at these tower defenses, normally they're helpful, but in these situations, it's almost bad. It's really bad. Just because the, the illusions sit on okay. the low ground, I swap back into the Reaper's sight. It's just going to be the Aegis, though. And Empire are all set up, ready to go with the Chronosphere. BKB popped immediately. They're going to go for the Eclipse. They do manage to catch Viper with the Chronosphere. They're going to try and bring him down anyway with the boat and the full combination of the Sonic Wave as well. They will manage to kill one core, but now they've caught Resolution underneath the Tier 3. Kezu Ooh. throws down the Ravage, only catches the one there. Uh, but it looks like they are going to be able to chase down a couple more heroes. But Poshka, he's certainly dead. And uh, looks like that will be all. The rest of the Empire are able to get out. So that costs him an Aegis, plus the Death on Resolution, which is going to stall up his farm a little bit. And they didn't manage to finish up either Tier 3, which would have been a huge swing if you can unlock those shrines. For example, on FN, he was looking at a BKB earlier, uh, but opted for the Shivas instead. Kind of help out against some of that physical damage and minus armor coming out from the Viper. Face this void with the Tfusa Blades, some huge upgrades and damage. They are going to find a free pick off here on Roger. And again, free pickoffs really aren't just free pickoffs when you've got uh, a Necrophos on your team and he adds that full 30 seconds to your death timer. This is actually painful because he can't buy back. And once he opens up that tier 3, it's really easy to cut down those barracks. So they can actually just trade. I think they could even go like one for two if a secret don't actually back oh, up the TP here. Got the TP got cancelled. Viper 
ends up getting caught in the chronosphere. Ghostseek is going to back out. They don't get a kill out of the one, that one, but they do stop the TPs, and that means MP oh is completely God. undefended. Red Resolution just brought him down. He's actually going to be able to take a full lane of racks here. The TPs are slow to come through, and Resolution will take those two down. He's going to make it out. KP TP oh. out, and he's away. Just like that, MP bought back and everything, but he didn't even have the Reaper Scythe up, even if he was there. Resolution. I mean, would you agree with me here, Jaskol? Empire's ahead. Empire's oh, I, winning I would now. definitely say they are ahead. They were in such a bad scenario in the first 10 minutes of the game, okay. and they brought Here it back go. to their favor. They're going to get a swap back. Maposhka, he's dead. And he doesn't have buyback. They got vision. They got vision around this area, so it feels a whole lot better. Nighttime is gone as well. Stick on the front lines. He's going to be able to get the Chronosphere onto two. The CMP, they go for him first. Throw out the Sonic Wave. Unfortunately, Resolution got caught in the tail edge, but it doesn't look like it matters at all. The two in the Chronosphere. Both end up dead, and it looks like they're going to get Yapsor as well. That's going to be a gem dropped, and Empire in full offense no mode against three heroes with no buyback. Oh my god. This is the absolute ideal situation for Empire. Got everything going their way. Now can they just close that out? Here comes the BKB Chronosphere. They're going to be able to get the Viper, but eh, there's a little bit of a ravage there. Does manage to control some heroes, but not the BKB resolution. That is the big threat. And that's why the Titan almost dies to him. But fortunately, the swap back managed to save one core, and Titan are tanky enough to live through the other one. But the Raxes just cannot be saved, it looks like. The oh. Glyph provides a momentary respite, but the Bouncing Glaze are going to rip him to shreds, as well as the heroes in the back lines. MP is still having problems with them, and resolution goes straight for the throat. He wants to finish off this mi last mid lane of Rax to get the Megas down. They manage to get Kazu here into the Torrent. Resolution does just a little bit of damage to finish him off. He looks like he'll lose his life finally, but that's just the ages. They do manage to bring down the Void. Maybe with a supporting cast, can they bring down Resolution? They just can't quite catch up to him. Maposhka gets caught out. Mid one managed to finish him off, but they really need this Resolution kill so badly. Torrent onto two. Beautiful play there from the Kunkka that's going to slow down a lot of these heroes, but it's Resolution, finally gets caught by the Gush, immediately reverses that slow with a Manta, and they give up on the chase. Yes, Secret held ever so barely with just a range racks at 400 H all the time. It's slowly but surely just kind of choking them out of the game. They're not able to find as many opportunities to take fights because they have to worry about, like, mid one bought a male, so they need this kill. They need this kill so badly. Yapsor ran into an invis FN and they got him. Secret, somehow, despite always being pushed in, not really having... I mean, at least they still have this Aghanim Scepter gem, so they do have some sort of vision advantage in these fights, but they've got to find a way to be the initiators, right? They've got to be able to get a Ravage off before the BKBs go down. It's so hard, man. The Chronosphere. They do have some vision here. Yapsor spots a couple of heroes here. Running forward with his Glimmer Cape, but they're gonna pop the Ravage here. BKB goes off first, so Kazu is gonna be the target of this Eclipse. Meanwhile, the Chronosphere does actually catch a couple of heroes. They manage to cut down the Shadow Demon. That's really worth it for the Chronosphere. He does manage to get off one Ravage, throws down a second one, controlling up Resolution beautifully. Can they bring him down though? He's after half HP. Pops Manta, rips Kazu with Sundal. It looks like it doesn't even stand a chance. Secret just fall to all this physical damage that Resolution's putting out. He finally gets the kill off the mid one as the Lightning bounces it around. They do manage to kill several of these heroes and maybe even catch FN. They're Trying to chase him down They're now. Base the though. void. Oh no, the linkage. It wasn't up yet, but it looks like he still managed to get himself away. And that's that's typically what you see when you take you know a set of racks or two. In this case, they've obviously fully racked. Straight okay. for the tier force. Jump in. Ravage managed to catch uh, the support as well as resolution here. Sets up for the second Ravage. Unable to get off. His BKB goes down first. And that means with the controlling Kronos here, they're going to be able to bring down both MP and mid one. Mid one gets swapped out. More damage on to Ghost Dick. He's surviving for a while, but eventually he does go down. Buyback. And let's see if he can boot to travel in onto Puppy. If they kill Puppy, he won't make it in, but they do manage to get it out. Mid one fights up. Meanwhile, the Reaper Scythe goes down on resolution, but it's not enough. Mid one, he needed to help out on that damage, but he He's not able to get there in time, so Resolution gets back to the base. Now it's just mid one and his two supports pushing into the three of Empire, who are able to play it slowly and play with the regen that the Fountain offers. One tier four is about to drop. FN comes forward, just a little bit of poke here. Ghost Dick. No, oh, he's actually going to die. Okay, now it's a... It's uh, a 3v2, but Resolution is also going for the throne. He's just going to straight for it. Their link is there to be able to stop the stun. They don't have enough damage to be able to bring this down. Resolution is just going to end the game, and Team Secret can't stop it. Resolution does find a way to just end it outright, but Secret, at least they made it one hell of a game towards the end there. My goodness, that was...